G'day legends, I hope you're all fantastic. On today's video, I wanna show you how I dial in a chunky, tight, high gain sound on a Mark series amplifier. I own a Mark IV. I absolutely love that particular amp. I've got a bunch of videos with it already up on my channel, but Boogie have recently released the Mark VII, which has a Mark IV mode, a Mark II C plus mode, a Mark II B mode on it. And you might find yourself in a music store somewhere trying out one of these amps. And if it was like my first experience playing a Mark series amp, you might be a bit underwhelmed. I'm gonna talk about why, and I'm gonna talk about how I would start with a Mark series amp to get a really satisfying tone that kind of reminds me of some of the classic high gain records made with Mark series amps, whether it's Metallica or Dream Theater or Striper or Lamb of God, a bunch of other newer bands that use these particular amps. Hopefully this will help you on your quest for ultimate Mark series tone. Let's go. I'm on the lead channel of my Mark IV. I've set the back panel to mid gain, which is my favorite mode on the lead channel. And I'm gonna start out with the lead gain, lead drive, bass, treble, and middle controls, all at five out of 10. Now, as guitar players, whether it is learned or whether it's assumed, there's this psychological phenomena where we wanna start at five out of 10 on all the knobs because we think that is a neutral starting point. Before I talk any more about that and why it doesn't really apply to this particular sort of amplifier, let's just hear the tone at the moment. I do have the graphic EQ over here engaged. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but first let's hear this. <laughs> certainly doesn't sound bad, there's already plenty of distortion available, but it's nowhere near as tight and there's not as much clarity as I would associate with the classic recordings made with this series of amplifiers. And it kind of comes down to that assumption that five out of 10 is going to be a neutral setting on this particular amp. What's happening in a Mark series amp is the treble, bass and mid-range controls are before the main gain stages and the graphic EQ is after the main gain stages. So what's happening here is you can think of these as ways to sculpt the overall pre-EQ of your signal. It's gonna change the texture of the distortion and then the graphic EQ does most of the sculpting of the tone. It's pre-EQ versus post-EQ. So for my tastes, I like starting out on a Mark series amp with the treble all the way up and the bass all the way down. You can kind of set the mid range wherever you like and I'm gonna set it to two. Let's just have a listen to how this has changed the gain structure. There is gonna be way less low end hitting the main gain stages of the amplifier. So it's gonna sound tighter and clearer. Once I've kind of fine tuned these controls, which I'll do to my taste, I'm gonna play around with the lead drive and the lead gain controls. Let's hear that now. <laughs> Treble also acts like a gain control. And 
by turning the base control up, all you're doing past a certain point is just adding more MUD. So think of the base control on a Mark series amp like a tight control. As you turn it down, you get more tightness, more clarity, more definition. And with the treble control, the more you crank that up, you get more gain. And it's interactive between those three controls. What's interesting, if we have a look over here on the graphic, most people would look at this and say, hey, you don't have much mid-range in there. But with the 750 hertz slider at a so-called neutral position, these amps have so much mid-range. Check it out. <laughs> The golden rule with the Mark series amp is that you kind of have to throw out all your preconceived notions of other amplifiers and really use your ears. You might consider these extreme settings with the 750 hertz slider way down and the treble control way up, but they're not really that extreme in the context of this particular amplifier circuit. Hopefully these little tips here will serve as a starting point to help you dial in your own Mark series amp if you've been having trouble with it. Most Mark series owners eventually stumble across these settings or somebody kind of enlightens them to these settings because if you want those classic tones, this is kind of the way you do it on this particular amplifier. As always, just use these settings as a starting point though. If you like the bass control up above five, do it. If you like the treble control way down, do it. It's your tone. It's all about kind of finding your sound with these particular units. But sometimes it's nice to have that classic starting point on an amplifier. And for me, on my Mark IV, these are the settings that I like to use as a starting point. Let me know how you like to dial in your Mark series amps in the comment section below. If you like what I'm doing on the channel, you can support me directly by following some of the links in the video description. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.